having for breakfast? I got oatmeal and I'm eating. Yummy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. If you're new here, I have a two year old named Maggie and I'll be 12 weeks pregnant tomorrow. Today we're doing a day in the life. I actually just got done with my OB appointment. Um, I did take a little video of them trying to find the baby's heartbeat, but it took forever because they kept moving around. So they did hear the heartbeat for like a few seconds and they said it was good. But I'll give a full update when I get home because we're kind of in a rush now because that appointment took so long. I don't know what it is about the doctor's office. I think they just don't have enough doctors to go around because it's always such a long wait and so many patients and not enough staff. We are getting lunch now because we are starving. We're gonna get Chipotle. I've been asking Maggie what she wants in her kid's meal and she just keeps saying chocolate milk. And I'm like, I know you want chocolate milk. What else do you want? So we finally narrowed it down. And then I have to go to Target because I have a bunch of stuff I need to get and some medicine that my doctor told me to get. So we got to run to Target before nap. But first we're going to eat and let the life return to us because I know both of us are super hungry. <laughs> A super quick Target haul. Aldi's been out of soda water, so we have been going to Target. So this time I'm trying pomegranate dragon fruit and yuzu mandarin. I'm like, Aldi, you're always out of soda water. Don't you know a pregnant girl needs some bubbly? And then they had these towels in the clearance section. Two big white threshold towels for $2.70. And I had just said we need to start getting some new towels. I think this is from the stroller. So we'll just scrub these up. These will be great for guests. Very hotel-y. Got us some new toothbrush. Very exciting. And then I grabbed some more vitamin D for myself. And this candle was only $4. Tropical mango. It's not in the best shape. <laughs> but it smells really good. So we'll light that. And then this is for the front porch. Paul asked me to decorate the front porch because right now it's just really ugly. So I will show you a picture of my inspiration. We're going for a mid-century vibe. So that's my project. I'm gonna put the fiddle leaf fig in here, put it on the front porch. Oh, I also got some magnesium as per my doctor's suggestion. All right, so a quick pregnancy update. I had a good appointment. I really like my new doctor. So she listens. She actually like talked to Maggie for a while. She didn't rush us at all. But unfortunately, my blood pressure is already trending on the high side. So I have to track it at home every day, which I should have been doing anyway. But I was like, hey, last time, you know, I feel like we went overboard with testing and stuff. And I really want to take a more conservative approach this time. And she was kind of like, well, we have to err on the side of caution. So I have to do a 24 hour urine test to get my baseline, like to see where I'm at so that in the future, if things go sideways, 
we can refer back to what my original numbers were in the beginning. So I have to do a 24 hour urine test, which is where you collect your urine for 24 hours and then they like assess it in the lab. And then I have to get blood work done when I turn my urine in. Then I have to get a level two ultrasound done. So that's kind of nice. I'll get to see the baby more than normal, but I have to go in for a special ultrasound with a specialist, um, a maternal fetal medicine specialist, which is what I had to do with Maggie. So I'll have to do that again. And then um, basically take some baby aspirin. She also said take some magnesium because that'll help with my headaches, which is unrelated, but so I have to take magnesium, all my other medicines. And then as things go on, if it starts going poorly, then I'll just have to get more like non-stress tests done, more ultrasounds to make sure the baby is growing properly. And I know this is all precautionary because with Maggie, everything was perfect. I did get induced at 38 weeks and my blood pressure was high the whole time, but nothing like crazy. So basically they have to take the same approach this time, which I'm really disappointed because I was like, hey, I already have a toddler. Like it's gonna be really hard to bring her to all these appointments this time around. So I was like, please, if we can take a more conservative approach, <laughs> that'd be great. But it's just kind of like, well, she didn't say this, but it's like, I'm the doctor. So we're gonna do this path, which I understand. So they, she has our best interests at heart. I'm just bummed because I was hoping since my blood pressure has been better that it wouldn't be such a big deal. But basically I'm borderline pre-existing hypertension. So it is what it is. I can't control it. So that's a little update there. The baby's heart rate was good for when they did hear it. So that was exciting, but it just took them forever to find it because they kept moving around. And I did get genetic testing done last Thursday. So I should be finding out the gender results anytime within the next week. So I'm excited to find out so I can start mentally preparing for that too. So that is my baby update. I think now I'm gonna make some brownies. Excuse me. I think now I'm gonna make some brownies. <laughs> I have this recipe from the Bon Appetit, basically guide to better baking, which had like 12 recipes that I made all during quarantine in 2020. And I found one of the magazines that had all of those recipes in it. So I, print, I pulled them all out. And one of my favorite recipes from that time, that era was these camo brownies. They're like cream cheese brownies. So I'm gonna make those really quick just to have for the week as our little treat. So this is that little section from the magazine. Basically in 2020, they were choosing a recipe and walking you through it and teaching you how to bake during quarantine. It was so much fun. So I made these. I did not end up making this cardamom cake because I couldn't find the stuff I needed, but I made that. Um, I made these chocolate chip cookies. I made these biscuits. I made the focaccia and the camo brownies. That's what we're gonna make today. And the date sticky buns and the triple threat onion galette. So that was just such a fun time. And I learned so much from that. And I'm so glad that I found all these recipes again so we can try them all again. Like I said, today we're gonna do the camo chocolate fudge brownies. They're so good.
right, the queen is awake from her nap. And she said, let's go get the brownies. I said, I made you some brownies while you're asleep, but they're cooling, so she really can't have them right now. Look at your hair. A little top knot, your first time. <laughs> you're so cute. <laughs> Oh. You want to go get the brownies? They're already out. They just got to cool. All right, we're outside, and I just want to show you a garden update. Guys, this was one plant. If you remember from back when we made the butterfly garden, this was just one sunflower that I planted, like, out of a pot. And it has blown up times 10, taken over the whole patio. And then the Coreopsis, I just cut a bunch of the dead ones down. Lavendula still doing okay. Plumbago is turning a little chartreuse. So I'm not sure if it's getting too much sun there or what. And then the Dianthus keeps reblooming, so that's nice. The Elisum's looking a little dead. And then the Snapdragon keeps reblooming too, so that's nice. I have ripped out all the tomatoes because they had bugs all over them and we planted new seeds. So we'll see if anything comes up from there. And then the herbs, same thing. It's just not going well over there. And this little guy is not looking too hot. We have had one successful butterfly. We had one amazing chrysalis that we watched form. And then I was waiting and waiting and waiting for it to open up. And then I realized it had been eaten from the inside out by other bugs. So that was just horrible. So I guess it's just really hard to become a butterfly in this world because we're watching and it's, it's hard on those guys. So anyway, Paul asked if I can trim this back for mowing purposes. So I'm gonna trim some and then we can have some of the sunflowers in a vase. Mm -hmm. Mickey picked one. dinner time but little miss maggie told me i'm not allowed to cook i have to stay with her she's being very clingy so i let paul know i was like hey i'm not gonna be able to start cooking till you get home so i picked a really quick recipe and i'll just whip it together at 6 30 when he gets home and then he's gonna take bruce for a walk and maggie kind of took a late nap anyway so it's okay to eat dinner a little bit later but i think i'm gonna end the vlog here i might insert a clip of what i made for dinner but We'll see. But I just want to say thank you guys for coming along and listening to my pregnancy update, watching me make camo brownies. They were so delicious, by the way. I will link the recipe in the description. I think you should make them. And that rainstorm was really crazy. It came out of nowhere. But it's clearing up now and it's all sunny now. So we're just going to be chilling, cuddling, being cozy until daddy gets home. And then we'll make dinner. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Can you say bye? Bye. <laughs>